love not spending money. This is the first time we took the roof off our Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xE. Really excited, never done it before, so we're going on a little off-roading experience. I'll take the doors off next time. It's just because it's the first time, I wanna be safe because we're taking our dog with us. Here we go. Parking on the little off-road experience for the first time. The car feels very composed. I feel in control. In, in fact, it always feels like I'm driving a sports car, even at the low speeds. Uh, not having a roof kind of gives me excellent visibility. Uh, right now I'm using gasoline engine, but in a bit I'm only going to be using electrical. I'm going to test the vehicle that way. So far, so good, and it looks spectacular. All right, so I have to get through this little rut. Finally, we encountered some mud. That was fun, getting through the mud and the puddle. It wasn't deep, but it was deep enough for me because of my first time. We're gonna do a zero to 60 test. Ready? Go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, that's pretty fast, that's pretty fast. So let's go over the sound system. So this, this specific Sahara Fobai is equipped with Alpine system. In my opinion, probably one of the best sound systems I ever had in any car. It has an awesome subwoofer in the back, I have speakers above, speakers in front of me, and let me tell you, that's how it feels. some of my favorite uh, design for this specific trim. I really love the way everything is laid out. I really love the way the screen looks like. This specific trim, I think is just they dialed it in. I'm not looking for features to improve my experience, uh, but I am enjoying what I have right now. I really love the halogen lights. I really love the, the blue uh, tow hooks. Uh, it just has a lot of cool features to it and the way the car sits on the road. Well, let's talk about pros and cons. Pros. I really love not spending money uh, on gasoline. I charge this car overnight and day-to-day -day use, I don't put gas in. Generally, once a month, I would put $20 of premium gas in it and you know and then next month i'll put a little extra but that's about it on average i used to spend when i had a for example tiguan 2022 tiguan uh, i spent on average four to five hundred dollars on gas in this one twenty dollars it's incredible value saving nearly four hundred dollars a month on gas 
been incredible. I just, what a relief. <laughs> you know, yes, this car is expensive, but it also comes with a lot of benefits. I love the acceleration on this vehicle. Like, I put my foot down and it goes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's fast. It fast. It fast. It kicks in. It's nearly on par with uh, my fiance's Porsche. She drives a Porsche Boxster. Uh, that one is like 5.4, 0 to 60. And this one is nearly the same on the in straight line. Yes, I cannot outrun Porsche. Uh, on the windy road, but I could go head to head on straight line and that is incredible for a car that weighs uh, 5,400 pounds. This vehicle is really go anywhere vehicle. That's quite impressive. We took this Jeep off-roading, drove over the ruts, muddy terrain, mild rocks. Pretty much, I mean, you could take it pretty much anywhere. You gotta be cautious, careful, yes. Don't take it rock crawling. It's just rock crawling, yeah. Probably not a, not a good idea. The ride quality is great. It's not perfect, but it's very comfortable. It's not like from previous Jeeps. Functionality, I put bikes in this car. I put, I have these two electrical bikes that huge, 90 pounds each. Both of them fit in, a dog fit in. Just like overall, just utility factor is just ridiculously incredible. Cons. Sometimes I wish the electrical range was a little bit longer, but for what you get, it's pretty impressive. Sometimes I just wish I had an Earl Grey color, but that's about it. But sometimes I really love the, this color spec. I wish that wall tires were just a little bit thicker, but you know, you could get a Willys trim. But get a 4 by 4 by e is just really incredible concept as a full vehicle. Yes, it gets a little windy as you can hear it probably right now. But you know, for what you get, it's pretty impressive. Well, another con, it is a little overpriced. It shouldn't be $65,000. Probably should start at around 45 and stay under 50. Considering the market right now, that would be probably the decent price. In fact, you probably, you could get 2023, probably 450,000 right now. Full by e Sahara, look around, buy it. Some of them are probably still under warranty. You don't have the warranty, buy an extra warranty. It's totally worth it. But overall, I love this car and I will highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for one. Overall, this is a fantastic, fantastic off-roader. It's a great car to have. I know people saying Jeeps are unreliable. You know what, if I had this car for 10 years, I might have more issues with this vehicle, but I had it a little bit over a year and I didn't have any issues. So, so far, so good. <laughs> Knock on wood.